Did the glare harass the mother of a missing woman? On August 18th, Bullhorn Betty uploaded a pre-recorded video to her channel. She accuses the glare of contacting the mother of a missing woman, Leila Santanello, harassing her and informing the mother of Betty's criminal record. Let's watch Betty's claims and then we can break it down. I want to tell you something that I find very, very despicable about people here on YouTube. People that have not helped a family with one dime of cost in aiding and searching for their daughter has not come out and searched woods for hours, ran down leads, provided the family information that we are not even going to disclose to our audience. We have done this for this family out of the love and the kindness and the generosity of our, ch our channel. And I want to show you the abuse of some people on YouTube. And the mother of this missing child is, she can't take anymore. And these animals on YouTube, do you think she gives a damn about my past? Do you not think I've already talked to her about that? And I'm the only person here helping. I'm the only person from YouTube that provided any flyers to this family. I'm the person with the help of Olivia coming out here and expending hours and hours and hours of my time for this family. And I want you to read all of this. And then I want you to see who is behind every bit of it. This was horrible for you to do to a family, Glarer. Horrible. On a troll account? How dare you? That is despicable. It's disgusting. Do you not think this family suffered enough? And do you, give, do you think they give a shit about your YouTube bullshit and how much you hate me? They do not. Let's get that clear right away. So I'm going to tell the rest of the animals on YouTube that like to reach out and hurt families, stop. Stop. You're hurting a mother. You are hurting a mother that is most likely lost her daughter. How dare you? She then shows screenshots of the message exchange that prompted this accusation. Now let's break it down piece by piece. I want to tell you something that I find very, very despicable about people here on YouTube. People that have not helped a family with one dime of cost in aiding and searching for their daughter has not come out and searched woods for hours, ran down leads, provided the family information that we are not even going to disclose to our audience. Did you at least inform law enforcement of this information? We have done this for this family out of the love and the kindness and the generosity of our, ch our channel. And I want to show you the abuse of some people on YouTube. And the mother of this missing child is, she can't take anymore. 
and these animals on YouTube. Do you think she gives a damn about my past? Do you not think I've already talked to her about that? Pay close attention to Betty claiming the glare contacted the mother and directly. And I'm the only person here helping. I'm the only person from YouTube that provided any flyers to this family. I'm the person with the help of Olivia coming out here and expending hours and hours and hours of my time for this family. And I want you to read all of this. And then I want you to see who is behind every bit of it. This was horrible for you to do to a family, Glarer. Horrible. On a troll account? How dare you? That is despicable. It's disgusting. Do you not think this family suffered enough? And do you, give, do you think they give a shit about your YouTube bullshit and how much you hate me? They do not. Let's get that clear right away. So I'm going to tell the rest of the animals on YouTube that like to reach out and hurt families, stop. Stop. You're hurting a mother. You are hurting a mother that is most likely lost her daughter. How dare you? There is the first lie. The person in the screenshots has come forward and admitted they contacted the admin of the Layla Facebook group, not the mother. Let's take a closer look at those screenshots. Clearly not the glare speaking in third person. It says, quote, I can get you the glare. The admin says her mother doesn't need this BS either. Clearly these texts are not with the mother. The person in the text thread says I will not contact the mother. This text thread, if it had been read properly, clearly shows that these messages are not with Layla's mother or the glare. The second lie. Betty acknowledged in her video that person's account was not the glare but a troll account. This was horrible for you to do to a family, Glarer. Horrible. On a troll account? How dare you? Basic research would show you that is a real Facebook account. I will not be doxing him further, but the account shows real photos of family and friends and genuine comments. After Bullhorn Betty makes her accusation, the Glarer joins Morbid on panel on August 18th. The real person behind the messages reveals himself and confesses. Play these little games Acting all okay Today, today Wait, 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 we're getting... So Run with, runs with Scissors is saying that that uh, Keep It 100 is Mickey in those text messages. Oh, is it? You're getting me in trouble, dude. You better fucking come clean. And wait, like, Who's Mickey? I mean, who gives a shit? Get the fuck out, Mickey. What the fuck did Mickey give her deal? Fuck out of here. Too, too busy being so fine and blowing minds. Oh my god. I don't know how that got tied to you, as if it even matters, but just like, god damn because, because she was fuming. I'm sure it was because she was fuming over my stream. Uh, and <laughs> and then uh, what I'm guessing is someone, like, told her it was me, and then she just fucking went half-cocked without actually doing any research. <laughs> Shocker. Uh, and then just, like, decided to jump the gun and decide it was me. But no one even knew who the fuck Mickey was until she mentioned it. <laughs> You know, it's just like... Yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised. Let's keep it 100. I'm not surprised at all. Did we bring this guy out real quick? I mean, oh, yeah, he's, yeah. Got, some, he's got some truth bomb. Okay. All right, buddy. How you doing, right. bro? Are you doing good? Yeah, I'm doing great. I'm laughing my fucking ass off on this whole thing. About what? All right, fill us in. Okay, point blankly. Point blankly. I was watching Betty's live and also that video about the camp. And I was like, okay, if you really think you're doing something, what's the chance of you taking in that camp? So I called the DVI about this. Why do you and when I, yeah, 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 don't uh, call All right, I like I you, but why did you do that? I, well, I wanted them to know that she was back in town doing the same stupid shit that yeah, she Yeah, you're bothering TV. Why are you doing that? I know, I know you have good intentions, but don't do that. I, don't I, don't know, know, I didn't even think it even get to the point where she's so damn stupid to think that Claire is me. <laughs> yeah, please don't mistake. Oh, so you're me. And there was no intention to do that, Claire. So, so you're, you're so me. Me. You're Basically, it's like this. I contact the admin that was dealing with that page telling him, hey, you got a scammer that's making money on you. I thought she was connected to the family or something. And then this no admin decided to send my DM, partially at it, to Betty. And I'm looking at him like, Betty, you didn't read the whole fucking thing. This is how stupid you are. Mm. You didn't read the whole fucking thing. You just went and said, okay, oh, no, 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 that. that's basically what happened. Okay. And so, I'm sorry, Claire, that that happened. I, I mean, mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, not I, I, I'm not worried about it, man. Like, the thing is about know. Betty is that she has no credibility at all. And oh, no. <laughs> she has absolutely no credibility at all. So nobody believes her. Nobody that matters believes her. Um, all, all I can tell you is if you're not doing it. All the other YouTubers are probably watching this. They all know that you're all calling in false tips. They wish you all to stop doing this shit. Yeah, that's what uh, you're doing. Not that you're putting in false tips, but... 
No, but, no, but they're, they're, they're really calling in on false tips. I know, but you're kind of tying up the line too. Come on, man, don't do that anymore. I understand yeah, you had good intentions. I'm not going to do that. I'm just doing it, been just like, okay, here it is, here it is, here it is. I know she's bullshitting. I know she ain't really searching. And even if she was searching, that's not the way you do searching. Do you think the right. TVI gives a shit about bulldog? No, to be honest, them, no, 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 in the right area, so if oh, I guys, know that. I wish we would. Probably thinking right on. Let her fucking search to her heart's content, like somewhere else. That's great. I just have to say what I said. At least you hear it and send me texting it so much. So let people know that Keeper Real is Nikki Cunningham. So that was you. Are you saying that was you? Yeah, that's been me the whole time in the chat. I don't even know what the troll was about. I mean, and I don't even want to get into it. I, I don't understand. There was nothing there on there. There was no trolling about it. She just got angry, mad, pissed off that I called her out, and now that she put it on there, I'm like, you made it much better. So instead of me calling you out by a one-on-one -on -one that I had with somebody, now more people know how much of a scammer you are. Claire, can you me. interpret that for me? What did he say exactly? Um, I, I, yeah, I, I, I'll do my best. Uh, he was saying that since she got it wrong, and it was clearly that she, you know, she did exactly what she always does, she just made it much easier to show how much of a scammer she really is. But it's not so much being a scammer. Uh, she's just totally clueless and has absolutely no, not even any, no research skills, much less the desire to actually do any research at all whatsoever, clearly, uh, by, by tagging me and going on a, on a rant, which was really just all about how pissed off she was about the stream that I did about her earlier. Um, like, troll level expert means that you troll somebody without even trying. <laughs> I did not, but you get blamed for a troll and you didn't even do it. Uh, I'll, I'll take a bow. Thank you. Hey, so keep it 100. He, he nailed it. Hey, There's nothing more to say. Keep it 100. Yes. Look, you seem like a cool dude, right? But, uh, and I know your intentions were well. Like, you have good intentions here, but uh, don't bother TBI with that bullshit. Don't ever bother. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Ever I'm not. You, they don't care about bulldog getting on YouTube. Do. Shit. You know? Don't do it. You're right. Yeah. You're right. I know you had good intentions though, so I'm just saying, right. don't bother. You gotta, there, there's a there's I'm a not. family there's a family out there missing uh, a loved one, and they're worried to hell about it, and have no answers. They don't know what to make of it, you and their only chance that. their only chance is the TBI and the local police department, the Kingsport Police Department. There, so uh, the less the less uh, the less hay in the haystack, uh, the easier it is going to be find, to find the needle. And every time somebody calls the TBI with nonsense, it, you're adding more hay to the haystack. Does that make sense? Right. I, I'm not going to disagree with that. Yeah. That's all we're saying. Like, nobody's mad at you. Just yeah, we're not mad at you. We're just saying, hey, man, like, uh, you know, That's you awesome. have good intentions, but they got better I, things to do. I, I'm more crazy enough to say it, even though it might be more than what it is, but there's nothing I can undo about it. I'm just not no, mad about you're it. You're good. You're good. The third lie. Eddie does a live stream the next morning, August 19th. She continues to accuse the glare of harassing the family, doubling down while knowing the person came forward and confessed on Morbid's panel the night before. Come under attack. It's all of you guys that come under attack for these, these hyenas, right, that, that feed off the carcasses of these cases. And um, it's just really, really sad that you, you say you're for victims, but you're going to make a, a woman cry and bawl her eyes out. And not only that, but this animal is trying to convince her that we are somehow scamming her. And she's like, is this guy like on drugs? Is, is there something like chemically wrong with him? She's like, how can you be scamming me? Like I, what? we haven't asked her for anything. We've only given, given, given. We've given flyers, we've given time, we've searched. My legs are cut up. I've, I've got poison oak. I mean, there, there's just, we've just given, given, given to this family. And you know why I gave to this family so much? It's because it reminded me of me. Now granted, I wasn't on, you know, the, the, the type of drug she was on, but believe me, I was on, I was on substances. And I, I can't even imagine what some nights my mom went through. And this woman couldn't even get attention to her, her own child. She was doing everything she can, literally pleading on TikTok, please come help. And nobody was, was helping. And then I go out there and help and get crucified for it. And they try to justify, if you guys believe that shit, you guys are too stupid for you two. Too stupid. I, I don't know what else to say. I'm a very blunt, brazen, abrasive person. And if you can justify that action and you can say that that's okay, it's okay because it's full horn. We don't care what family we destroy or hurt or what mother we may cry that's already sitting there crying, longing for her freaking daughter. And you want to justify that? Don't you dare come here and say you're a Christian person doing something like that. And don't you dare ever say you're in it for the families of the victims. Mm -mm, you don't get to do that. You surely do not. You don't have that right at all. And you know what, people? Let's go back to that just a little bit. This man, again, lives in the state of Tennessee. He could have followed us. He could have seen our work. He could have, he could have, he could have decided we were all in public places. He could have chose to do that. He chose not to. He still chose to sit on his ass and lie to his audience out his ass. That's what he chose to do. And if you guys want to support that, don't you dare ever say you're, you're in it for the victims. That's, that's my messaging. Because this woman needed help, and she could have used his help. And he chose to use his channel for hate and to destroy a woman that did absolutely nothing to him, that was missing her daughter and just begging for anybody to take her case seriously and to get out there and help. And if you're part of that hate group, shame on you. I hope you guys apologize to Layla's mom. I really do. I hope you go over there and shower her posts and her social media with love and support and let her know she's not alone. 
sometimes when you're going through the worst thing of your life, sometimes just hearing somebody say some kind words can really make a difference whether you're going to cry that day or you're going to make it through. This woman has been through a lot. She loves her daughter. She cares for her daughter deeply. And she is very, very scared. And it's, one, it's, it's a very, very difficult thing to deal with personally. And I can promise you, these animals out here have never experienced that, nor will they ever, because they're too lazy. They're too lazy. They don't have jobs. They sit on YouTube. They could literally get in their car with the money that they make and go help a family. Listen, I don't make a lot of money on here. And every penny that I do make, it goes back into these cases. And I can tell you that the, the money that was spent on Layla Santinello, my time that was spent on Layla Santinello, was worth every minute. Who do you think deserves an apology? Eddie or the glare? Sound off in the comments.